we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Hello beautiful people, it's Darren here from Up by Darren with another Art Start DIY. Today I'm working on my greenhouse. This is what it looked like after the winter. I did actually start this project back in spring, it's now summer here in Australia. As you can see it's a right bloody mess isn't it? It's functional but it's not pretty. I just kind of shoved everything in there. That's the bench that I want to work on. I also want to put a automatic opener on the uh, window there and build a box in this area so I've got a permanent place to grow. Need also to fix my water tank. The pipe that catches the water off the roof is not going into the tank anymore so I need to fix that. So I'm going to start off first with a power wash, love my new Karcher power wash, not sponsored, would like to be sponsored, they're very expensive, but it's fabulous. It got rid of all the uh, algae and everything that was growing on there. Uh, I did put that little bit of blue tape there because I was thinking maybe I can make some kind of windows or something, you know, make it look like windows and so I stuck some tape there and now I can't get the tape off. But I am going to start with the bench. This is this Modwood Flame Shield Fire Retardant Decking. We put a new deck uh, outside our laundry and decided to go with this. It's made from recycled plastics and it never needs painting because we've got three decks around our house now and painting them every year is a pain. So I'm just going to cut this to size. With this bench, I was thought, well, this would be a great product to put on top because it is plastic so water getting on it if the window pops open again won't bother it so at this stage all i was going to do is make this top of this bench and then and i decided to carry on so you'll see that in a minute but what i've done here is just cut a couple of pieces of scrap wood put them on the back screwed uh, pre-drilled and screwed in all those things uh, it wouldn't actually sit back into the lip of the bench there so i've cut off the ends of that p cross brace and i had to do it down the other end as well because it wouldn't fit there either and there was some screws that i <laughs> didn't measure my screws right you should always measure the length of your screws before you do anything uh, they're just a little bit too long you can see a couple of those poking through at the top there and yes it's not perfectly cut but hey it's not bad so here's where i decide i want to put a shelf on the back so i've got these pieces of treated wood and i'm pre-drilling uh, holes for screws and the screws that I've got for these, I'll show you a picture of them in a minute, uh, are special screws that go through metal. They have a different end on them. It's kind of flat like that. Just like that. <laughs> uh, and it, yeah, wood through to metal, use that kind of screw. So here's the shelf. I'm just using another piece of scrap. Oh no, this wasn't scrap. This is just painted pine that I had. And I've just cut that to length, just putting a bit of glue where it touches the back posts and screwing, pre-drilling and screwing that. Always just, just think, every time you drill, every time you want to put a screw into something, pre-drill it so that the wood doesn't split. That's the reason why we do it. Again, pre-drilling and screwing the top on. So that's the simplest way to make a shelf. Two pieces of wood like that. Now I decided that I needed a little sort of catch-all for my dirt so that I could just have that on the top of the bench at all times so I could pot up when I needed to um, and I'm just screwing that into the bench to make it solid. So after that we're going to paint. I've used this Dulux Weather Shield because this gets very hot in the summer out here so I hope this paint will last and I'm just going to put a coat, well I actually put, ended up putting two coats on everything so it doesn't matter that the, all the wood didn't match because look it does now, isn't it pretty? <laughs> well not quite yet so once I've done this painting I'll just show you a quick way if you've got to do two coats of something you can wrap your um, used glove over the top of the brush uh, it only works if you're leaving it for like an hour or two. Um, I wouldn't do it overnight or anything like that. It's not sort of sealed properly, but 
I did end up going to Bunnings and getting this uh, ply. This is 5 mil ply. And I got this cut into all the pieces that I need to put it back onto the bench and to put sides and doors on the front. See, it all changed. It went from just this to, no, hang on, look. Now there's front posts. I cut those down and just screwed those in the same as the back with the treated wood. And here I am just cutting the links needed for my doors. Now, normally with doors, you would cut your pieces and then put a groove in the bottom and then feed the uh, ply into that. I didn't make my doors this way. I made them the easiest way you could possibly. I just stuck it on with some wood glue there and clamped it down. And so this is all on the back of my door. I pre-painted the fronts and I just left that overnight to dry and used whatever I had that was handy, that was heavy to sort of push down. Some of the, <clears throat> the wood was a little bowed uh, in a couple of places so I just grabbed whatever I could, shoved it on there uh, to let them dry. Uh, this is putting the hinges on couldn't find my chisel even if I did it was probably blunt from the last time I used it which was with sculpting so this is just a little tool that I can't remember the name of but you probably already know what it's called what is it called hmm it's not a dremel it's like a dremel anyway it's you can use it to make these little cutouts that you need for the hinges now, I'm sorry I don't know why that was out of focus in my camera did it to me a couple of times that day this is where you see, ah, oh, look at the mistake. Had I known I was going to put doors on, I could have made all of the uh, top pieces longer. That's how you would normally do it. The, the bench on top would, sorry, the counter on top would come out far enough so that your doors would sit underneath. So it doesn't matter to me as the garden bench. So I whacked on this pin. <laughs> This piece of uh, plywood with uh, my nail gun and just painted it and look it'll do it's fine it'll stop the dirt from going into the cupboard and uh, I end up do I and do end up putting another piece on the other side there as well And this is where I'm out of focus again. Sorry about that. I'm just adding some handles to the top here. Uh, I'm just using a piece of wood as my measurer so that they're both even on the same side. Because <laughs> I didn't want to go in and get my tape measure. Drilling holes again because I'm going to screw. This is where I find out the screws don't fit. They're just um, they're just a little bit too short for this piece of wood. So what I end up doing here is making the hole a little bit bigger on the back so that the head of the screw can actually go further into the door and sit in far enough to get the handle screwed on. You'll see that I'll do that in a second here. There we go. So it didn't go right the way through. I just did it sort of maybe a mm, couple of centimeters so that it would sit in far enough for the handle. You just got to wing it sometimes. <laughs> now here I'm adding two uh, little magnets. This will keep the doors closed all the time. And then again, pre-drill and screw both sides. And look, magic, the door stays shut. Well, it will in the second one and close it. And you can see on top, I've already been doing some potting some plants. So I do it everywhere. <laughs> Here's that other piece of uh, plywood that I just nailed onto the top there with my nail gun. I'm cleaning that all off because I want to give it a second coat here. Now this um, transfer or decal I got from Bun uh, Bunnings. I got it from Amazon and this side I put on first and it had been sitting on there for a while and it stuck, it was fine. But as the summer continued, 
it was so humid this piece just wouldn't stick at all I tried spraying it with spray adhesive it wouldn't stay on so I thought I can leave that for another day oh here's the cicadas just to let us know they're there and you can see how quickly this was only uh, a couple of weeks and it's totally faded all that color so that's the bench I'll let you know how it goes these are some things I started decorating with uh, some flowers and some bird, bird cages I already had and I painted those up and everything but that's for next week's video I'll show you through making all those bitty things to make it look pretty <laughs> so it is possible to refurbish your old maze bench and have it look a bit prettier thank you so much for joining me if you haven't already please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye for now